Hey everyone, on today's show, I'm gonna help you win in the era of AI search. How to actually build a free tool that is going to generate content that is friendly to ChatGPT, to Gemini, to Perplexity, all of the places you want your business to show up anytime somebody has a question related to them. That's what we're gonna do today. It's gonna be awesome. If you wanna stay ahead of the curve, you wanna get more visibility and more traffic to your business, this show is for you. Let's get to today's episode. Hey everyone, on today's show, we're gonna unlock the power of AI SEO. We're gonna help you get visibility into all of those search queries that people do in ChatGPT and Gemini and Perplexity. In fact, I'm gonna show you a free tool that's gonna to help you create content for those services so that your brand can rank higher and higher and get mentioned more and more in terms of those zero click responses. So the show is all about how do I get more visibility in AI search engines? And the first thing you need to do is understand how to do that. Fortunately, if you haven't already, go back and watch our show with Asia Frost. We do a massive deep dive in AI SEO, the trends, the fundamentals that you need to understand to be successful in this new era of AI search. Now, I'll, I'll wait, pause. All right, now that you're back, I want to go through with you kind of the next natural iteration here. And that is, now that you understand the principles we talked about in that episode, you're gonna to wanna to go and create content for these AI search engines. And to do that, I thought I would help you today. I thought you'd, I would show you how to make a custom GPT to do that. And a custom GPT is just a fancy way of an agent, in saying an agent inside a chat GPT. I, I'll be honest with you, I was kind of struggling at what to do for a show today. And I was going back and forth and I got this idea from a conversation and ChatGPT says, hey, build a zero click content optimizer. And that's like kind of a dorky way of saying it. And I was, I was having a conversation with it around what is this new O3 Pro model, which we haven't yet to talk a ton about on the show. What's it really good at and what parts of marketing should it really be helping with? So I was in O3, just a regular O3, and it gave me an idea to create this optimizer agent. It gave me some code, gave me instructions. It was great. Then I said to O3 Pro, make this even better. And O3 Pro thought, for 24 minutes and 21 seconds. And what it did is it made a full markdown prompt. This is a very technical way of saying a set of technical instructions for a custom GPT to make the zero click content optimizer agent. And it gives it all the rules. It gives it the exact workflow it wants to do. It is pretty awesome. And so, what I'm doing now is I'm gonna take all this entire prompt and I am going to just drop it here in my custom GPT. And again, for those who aren't familiar, you can go to chat GPT on the sidebar, hit create a GPT, and this is the screen that comes up. And this is configure. And so I'm calling this an AI SEO content builder and that this GPT creates AI friendly content to increase the likelihood of showing up in zero click search results. And so I've added these, this prompt, and this is basically a set of instructions. Look, you're, it's telling it your mission is to write one source article so thoroughly that leading AI assistants, chat GPT, perplexity, Gemini, Claude quote and summarize it verbatim when answering the target query. So it's, really looking at these kind of conversations as the specific subset of them as search conversations here. So this is really good. And it's, it's got some really cool rules and it's got some very interesting rules in terms of, Oh, start with a less than 45 word answer that directly answers the question and the, the around the topic. Right. And so these are pretty cool. The other thing I like about custom GPTs is that you can upload knowledge. So one of the other things I did is I did a deep research project in ChatGPT on AI SEO best practices. And one of the things we also haven't talked about on the show yet, but I love, now when you have it do deep research, it puts it in a canvas like this, this detailed kind of text box. And in this canvas, you can easily share a link just to the deep research or download a PDF of the deep research which I love. And so 
I downloaded, I downloaded this deep research. Hold on here. So I had ChatGPT do it. I gave, I'm giving this GPT all of the knowledge that we have found about AI SEO best practices so that when it's making decisions and following the the, these instructions, it has the context to do so. Uh, recommended model, we're gonna say O3 Pro. This is really important work. If this work is sloppy or low quality, we're not gonna get ranking. We are not going to be successful. So you would rather aim for higher quality than speed in this type of work because you are trying to get better rankings on these really important search queries. Uh, we don't need to create a new action. So we're gonna go and now create this. I will let anyone with the link use this GPT. Maybe I will share it with all of you. Leave the comments if you want me to share this with you, but I'm showing you exactly how to build it yourself as well. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna view, view my GPT. Now, I have some topics to test this with. Here is an example of a topic that people would search in a search engine. How is HubSpot CRM better than spreadsheets in 2025? And I say, hey, highlight easy setup and our unified data. So now putting this into our brand new GPT. Now, look, I'm going to get real with you all. I love O3 Pro. O3 Pro has been great, and I've been using it for a lot of tasks. It's very, very smart. But that smartness comes at a trade-off. It is not that fast relative to all the other AI models. I think it's hilarious, right? I'm like, oh, this model's kind of slow and not that fast. I'm like, three years ago, me would have thought this was the most life-changing output of all time and would have been fine if it took a week to have happen, right? And now I'm like, oh... It's like 10 minutes. I don't know. I'm like, dude, I, I just need, I need to, I need to get a grip. So this is me chatting with you for a second while it's running and doing the reasoning around this. So what is this doing? Just to make sure everybody understands. I gave it a set of instructions and then I could take anything that I either think or know my audience searches for in these AI search engines and I just put the, that topic right into my custom GPT, and it will write a custom page of information that is reverse engineered to give a remarkable answer on this topic so that those AI tools and the LLMs will find this information and use it and cite it and hopefully even say it verbatim because it's saying the stuff that I believe to be true in the world about in this case, HubSpot CRM, and that will be really, really remarkable. And that is a really powerful way to win the AI search game in a way that nobody's thinking about right now. Are you, have you been thinking about building web pages for robots and LLMs? Or have you been thinking about building those pages for traditional Google search and for humans versus the AI search engines? And that's what today's show is all about. All right, everyone, we have our results. and. And so we wanted it to create a page of web content that was AI search friendly for this specific question people would ask, how, how HubSpot CRM beats spreadsheets in 2025. O3 Pro took 13 minutes. That's what I'm saying, it's not fast, but the output's really high quality. You don't have to use O3 Pro, you can use any different model that you may have. And what's interesting is, rem remember, I had it export everything in JSON so it could go into a web editor and have the right heading and formatting and everything necessary in order for it to be read well by the AI search engine. And so it says HubSpot CRM outperforms spreadsheets by giving teams a plug and play workspace that's live in minutes and keeps every contact, email, deal, and activity in one continuously synced record. Ending copy and paste errors in rogue versions for good. So it gave you that TLDR, right? That's part of the instructions. It followed it really well. It talks about what problems do spreadsheet create. So what I've done is I've taken this template that AI search engines like based on all these best practices, and I have figured out a way for any topic to have this agent go research, find that information, and package it in a way that is really good for AI search engines. Fast start checklist. One of my big things with AI SEO is that we're moving from just telling people what the answer is to 
helping people move to action. So it's got all of this and it's done a really, really good job. It also talks about unified data. It talks about pricing, how that you can get started for free with HubSpot CRM. It's got all of this marked up perfectly in JSON and it's awesome. And it tells you what the word count is, uh, 564 words. The reading level, the keyword density around HubSpot CRM is a little less than 1% of the density on the page versus spreadsheets that are 0.71%. Um, it talks about what products and entities are covered in this. This is awesome. Like if you're hiring a consultant, they're gonna. this is what they're gonna go and do manually. And I have just made this for you and I'm giving it to you for free. You can put any topic you want in there. It's gonna give you an output like this. You can go and put it in your website builder and have, add a couple images and have a really good and compelling page that can start ranking in AI search engines. All for free. If you want, we have the link to this custom GPT. It's down in the description or you can scan the QR code. I highly recommend checking it out. Would love to hear feedback as if it's working well for you. But this is going to help you raise your game and win in the era of AI search. Hope this is helpful. Let me know, leave a comment, and we'll see you real soon on Mark Against the Grain. This data is wrong every freaking time. Have you heard of HubSpot? HubSpot is a CRM platform where everything is fully integrated. Whoa, I can see the client's whole history. Calls, support tickets, emails, and here's a task from three days ago I totally missed. HubSpot, grow better.